Okay, so the July 2014 OCG list has been on for a while now, and I want to take a look at it and see if any of their changes could possibly happen here in the TCG. Keeping in mind that since September 2013, the OCG and TCG no longer share the same list, and who knows if they ever will. Okay, so here we go. Unbanned? Nada. They didn't bring back anything. Limited. Limited to one? Artifact Moral Talk. Okay, one of the main arguments for the TCG ban list is that, that is that Konami won't touch anything that still makes them money. And from July 13th until the Duelist Alliance comes out, which is about a month's time, Primal Origin will be Konami's main bread and butter, meaning that they won't hit the main selling points of Primal Origin, which are in fact the artifacts. Alright, next card. Armageddon Knight. Uh, preemptive strikes aren't really aren't really the TCG style, so I don't see Armageddon Knight getting limited until Shadows have completely wrecked the TCG for at least one format. Alright, Dragon Dragon Ravine. To one, sure, why not? Dragoonities need something to dull the pain, seeing as how Dragon Rulers completely fucked them over. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, next card, Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine. Uh, sure, seeing as how Komani, excuse me, Konami no longer makes dinero off of Dragon Rulers. Next card, uh, Needlebug Nest. Uh, same argument as Armageddon Knight. And for semi limited, uh, Evil Swarm Ophion. Um, to one here in the TCG, nah. Evil Swarm really ain't a problem. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really see Ophion going to two. At three is perfectly fine. All right, next card, Elemental Hero Bubble Man. In the OCG, Straddles isn't banned, but Bubble Man did go to one, and now they have it at two in order to promote the new uh, Hero Structure deck. So in relation to the TCG, they won't touch Bubble, Bubble Man, and I, but I hope they do unban Stratos. Alright, next card. Konomaly Nebradisk. <sighs> the one card I'd give up my left nut for in order to have here in the TCG. Okay, not really, but I really fucking want this card. <laughs> Alright, next card. Legendary Six Samurai Shein. Um, samurai, samurai are irrelevant, and putting Shein in two really won't do much except give Six Sam players some, fa some false sense of hope. No, but really, I can see this happening, and if you, uh, and if she ain't win it too, you'd see a guarantee, a guaranteed price jump for them. Alright, next card, Wind Up Shark. It's at 3 here, and would only go to 2 if Wind Up Magician also went to 2. TG Striker, irrelevant since it's at 3 here in the, TCG, in the TCG, and they won't put it back at 2. It's not doing anything. And a Mizuki, uh, same argument as TG Striker, you know, it's at 3 here, and, you know, putting it at 2 or whatever, it, it won't do anything. Alright, next card that is semi-limited, Abyss Fear. Hmm, interesting. I can see it happening here in the TCG in order to wean players off of Mermails and get them to play the new archetypes that are coming in the Duelist Alliance. You know, that's the only way I can see, that's the only reason I see for uh, limiting Abyss Fear to 2. Alright guys, next is the Unlimited, meaning all the cards that went to 3. The first one is Chaos Chaos Sorcerer. I can see it happening at two. It's not seeing much play, but who knows at three? Uh, Plague Spitter Plague Spitter Zombie already at three here, so irrelevant. All right, next card that they unlimit that they un you know that went to three in the OCG was Cyberstein. Hmm, this is interesting. So, okay, so Cyberstein is still banned here in the TCG, and it went to one in the OCG. I believe it was either last format or like two formats ago. I can't remember, but could it ever come back here in the TCG? Uh, maybe at one first to see how it goes. Seeing as how we have a lot of ways to stop Cyberstein dead in its tracks now that we didn't now that we didn't have back when it was fucking shit up. You know we didn't have Valor, we didn't have Phoenix Chains, we didn't have this, we didn't have that back then. Now that that we do, uh, I want to. Uh, so yeah, now that we do, I can see it going to one here in the TCG. And if it doesn't work out, they can always ban it again. All right. Uh, re next card is Rescue Rabbit. Whoa, Rescue Rabbit to three. Um, could could this happen here in the TCG? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the two first, but even I'm still a bit hesitant putting it at two here in the TCG. But I doubt that they will. Maybe at their next format. All right, Fire Formation Tanky. It's already at three here, so it doesn't matter. Roll Tribute. Fuck no. <laughs> it's already sacky enough at it as it is at one. So yeah, no way. All right, uh, at two, you know, at one, you stay at one forever, Royal Tribute. At one, you stay. All right, next card, Black Whirlwind. Already at three here, so it doesn't matter. And finally, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. Again, my philosophy is if that a, if a card is at one, don't put it to three the very next list. 
put it put it to two first to test the waters to test the wa excuse me to test the waters, and if it doesn't do much or present any problems, then the next format you can put it at three. Baby steps, Konami. Baby steps. So yeah, I can see sword going to two first. Um, if any, yeah, swords at two. You know, dragon rulers aren't a problem, and I sure why not. Okay, guys. So that just is about just yeah. Okay, guys, that just about does it. And remember, yes, I know that the OCG and the TCG lists are separate, and what one does probably won't affect the other. It's just that I just find it fun to speculate and make up these what-if scenarios. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, guys. And and as always, I'm Ronan Frog 87, bidding you farewell and hoping you enjoy the rest of your day.